Hello, welcome to Ellie Bee Toys. We are going to open another storybook adventure because they're so adorable. Let's add Belle's storybook to my collection. I've already opened the Frozen 2 one, so I'm very excited to see what Belle's looks like. There are four books so far in this collection. Pretty sure that Lego's going to release some more. I hope Lego's going to release some more. Let's open this one up, see what's inside the box, and then put it together. So Belle's book is a beautiful pastel yellow, as as you would imagine and there's the binding of the book and here are all the pieces we need to put together a couple of sheets of stickers and the instructions of course otherwise I'd have no idea what to do ha, we're ready right so these characters are very excited to be here but they don't actually come in the box we've got wardrobe we've got Cogsworth they are all just here to watch for a reason <laughs> and we've also got Mrs. Potts and where's 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 Chip here's Chip now, like I said, these characters do not actually come in the set. These are from other Beauty and the Beast sets. And also we've got the Beast here with his face underneath here, just to let you know that it's not just the Beast. We got the Beast ready and Belle is ready too because every single one of these characters has a mini me, a teeny mini version in this set. Let's meet Belle's teeny mini first. Of these new tiny weeny micro dolls so adorable so this is the mini version of Belle she really looks like she's wearing a nightgown she's like almost a toddler size her head has the most enormous eyes on it which just add to the cuteness factor of these micro dolls these teeny minis she's so cute and she's got the same hairpiece obviously as the normal Belle because she is just like a pocket version of the normal Belle she is really really just crazily cute she also gets a bow we're going to be putting the bow on the top of her hair though because that's what it says in the instructions and i always follow in the instructions first and then i can change it to whatever i want later look at that i'm still kind of dying like a lot of dying with the cuteness of these micro dolls they are ridiculously adorable let's see what the beast looks like in micro form Oh my goodness. I think the boys look absolutely just so, so adorable. Look at his big eyes. <laughs> He's so, so cute. Oh, all right. I might have exploded a little bit. Let's see. Oh my goodness me. The beast head is the same size as the original one, but it's like got these derpy big eyes. Oh, it's, it's the cute version of the beast. Oh, that's nice though. We've also got the normal prince hair as well. So we can take, oh, we might just have to jiggle that from side to side to get his beast head off and he can be the tiniest prince. <laughs> oh, these are just crazy. They are just, 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 just so, yeah, they're cute. All right. I have mentioned that. I still can't get past it though. This beast head is, is just ridiculous. I think that's my new favorite thing in the whole world. All right, but let's see what the mini, oh, mini Cogsworth. He's just one block, and but he does get a gold stud for the top. You know, they could have used one of those little new peaked pieces, those little single sized peaked pieces for his top. That would have looked a little bit better, but that's okay. I like him anyway. Let's see what wardrobe looks like in her micro version. She's just one printed piece. That's really cool. And she gets a jumper stud on the top and she gets a little stud too. Aww. Oh, I wonder if I can fit her in here. I cannot. Maybe if I take the stud off, I could fit. Oh, I could if I squish her in there. Uh, okay, now that's that's actually kind of jammed in there. So I might need to pop that out. Would totally fit in there if I took the gold, the gold bit off the top. I could hide the mini, the mini wardrobe in the big wardrobe. Let's see what Mrs. Potts looks like in a miniature version and Chip. So Mrs. Potts in this set looks exactly the same. They're twinnies, which doesn't surprise me because I can't imagine what a micro version of the teapot is. But she does get a purple lid or a little purple hat instead of the pink one. So that's a bit different to previous versions. And Chip, who was a mug, is now a teacup. And that is really really so cute that's so cute and you know what's even better there's actually a second one of these in the set there are two chips in the set I don't know whether that happens in all the sets I hope it does because that's cool okay let's move them all back here and let's magic away the characters that don't actually 
belong in this set. So they didn't come in the set, we've just left now, we're just left now with the characters that do come in there and the tiny little versions of everybody. Let's put the book together, this is awesome. So we've got a grassy area out here, this doesn't go together like that because we need to put the binder, this part, in between the front and the back covers. Before we do that we need to put a couple of Lego pieces on the bottom and the same thing on the top. These colours are going to be just so beautiful and out here yeah, so out there's going to be the garden and the other side I assume is going to be inside the castle. Let's use these plugs to, to join everything up. I love Lego, it goes together so easily and it lasts. It lasts so beautifully. So this is a playset that you can actually, you can pack up and take with you. It's all going to be self-contained, but let's, we've got to put it together first. So I should contain my excitement <laughs> until we've actually got it happening. Now we have got a plate, a printed plate to go on the front with the most beautiful picture of Belle. Oh, that's lovely. These are emulating the old leather bound look books, like hardbacks. And on the side, we've got another a silhouette, a cameo of Belle, which I'm just going to line up a bit better there. So we can tell from the side from the binding which book this one actually is, that we can tell from the colour too. And on the back we've got one of those little, not quite so straight stickers, let's make it a straight sticker, that you can actually write your name on. So this book belongs to me! <laughs> so no one else can take it. Not that they would, because people are nice. Okay, let's add a lock to this. I was just saying, you know, because people are nice, we need to put a lock on it. This lock's gold! Let's put this on. Was the one for frozen gold? I don't think it was. It's silver. So we've got two different colored printed lock pieces for these sets. Hmm, that's really cool. Okay, let's start fitting out the inside. We've got some greenery heading into the garden. Well, poking out of the corners of the garden part of the book. And on this side, inside the castle, we have got a spinny thing. We've got a little turntable. And you can use this, okay, so the obvious use for this is going to be waltzing for the Beauty and the Beast. They can waltz around here, but I reckon you can also use it as a table. I think because it's right in the middle, we can use it as a table too. On this little jumper stud in the corner, we get a most magnificent print of the rose. So that's the rose in the glass jar in the corner. That's beautiful. And in this corner here on this little jumper stud, we get a bust with R. Uh, okay, with the prince's hairpiece on it. <laughs> so that's where we can store it over here in the corner. It makes a lovely sculptural decoration as well. Uh, what do we got now? We have got. Are we making the main build? We're not making the main building yet. We're making a little walkway. Aww. A little walkway into the garden. Oh, it's very majestic. Tiny, but majestic. Let's put some flowers on either side. Because that's what the instructions say. And now we start building the main castle bit, which is going to be attaching, from my previous experience on doing the previous book, these are going to attach inside the binding. So this sticker here looks like it's going to be the bedspread for, well, for the bed, logically. It's got a rose on it. It's a little bit untucked and that flicks up and down. Oh, she actually fits on that quite nicely. Okay, so this is her bed. And these are a miniature printed version of some of the bigger princess pieces that we've seen in the past. Is that little? <laughs> the littleness of this gets me every time because I do love tiny things so much. I've got a goblet on this side. I think it's part of the decoration. I don't think it's a goblet because they can't hold them in their hands. Her hand is only sized for holding those little tiny things with a tiny pin in them, like, uh, like the hair pieces or flame pieces. Now we've got another turntable-y kind of thing, which has got, oh, it's a fireplace. It's a spinning fireplace, so you can disappear it away if you want to. We've got another one of these printed pieces to create the lovely outer wall. Oh, and we need to just build up the top to match the other side. And a tiny little gold spire and another goblet, which, which, goblet. Isn't that a funny word? Goblet, goblet, goblet. God, I kept concentrating again on what I'm actually building. Oh, okay, we've done the two side pieces. <laughs> I get obsessed over how weird a word sounds when you say it. Goblet. Hmm. And a big archway. <laughs> Just trying to focus now. Big archway with one of these little peaky pieces on the top. And oh, there's a hook up there. I wonder what we're going to hang from the hook. Uh, hold on, I've mucked this up a bit. Well, that needs to go back one. And now we put little circles up here, which are going to be a nice place that we can store some of the figures. So we could actually put, we could put, 
Mrs. Potts and Chip up here. Oh, we could take them off completely and use them as plates too. Okay, flag on the hook. And I think, oh, what happens on the inside here? We get the most beautiful stained glass rose picture here. Or, well, it's a window, our stained glass window. That's so lovely. Oh my goodness, this looks just gorgeous in mini version. <laughs> Look at them in there. All right, so these are installed in here on the binding. So these ones that goes over on this side, this one goes in the middle. So they can walk across that little bridge archway-y thing. <laughs> and this one goes on that side. I think, yeah, the goblets are part of the decoration. <laughs> goblets. <laughs> oh no, I've lost it. And this is the cutest little table that we can use too. See, I told you we could use this as a table. We can store everybody else up here if we want to. Now we've got a whole heap of stickers that we can use to decorate our playset. So I'm going to use this one as a big elegant stairway or a walkway down into the main dining room or the ballroom it's up to you what you want to use it for at any given time it's up to you, you can change it from one minute to the next over here in front of the fireplace i wonder whether i want to put hmm i don't know whether i want to put them the carpet so they could lie on the carpet or oh uh, maybe yeah we'll put the carpet here and then we might put the sofa -y thing the little settee oh, i'm trying to get this straight on this angle while I'm videoing it is really hot it's still not straight there that'll that'll do <laughs> that's pretty straight okay we might put the little seti uh actually let's not do that yet let's put the, this door which looks like it's the door to Belle's bedroom and her bed's over here right so let's put it let's put it over here that's not too straight either but it will it'll it'll do and we could put we could put the wardrobe in her bedroom and let's Oh, hold on. We've got another big arched, a big staircase here, which is kind of the staircase from nowhere. Maybe I should have put the door in front of that. Eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> I can put them where they work for me, for my, for how I want to play it. Let's put this over here. Yep, in front of the fireplace like I was going to do. And put books here because books are important. In fact, why did this set not come with a real book for Belle? They're kind of important. Anyway, there's portrait over there of the prince and the, uh, the mirrors are very important to the story as well. Now let's put some more books down here around Belle's bed. <laughs> and let's put our turntable back in here. And I think that might be enough stickers for inside the ballroom for now. See, they can, they can hang out in front of the fireplace. Let's go out into the garden. Oh, that walkway is just so pretty. Let's put some roses. The roses are really, really important to the story. So let's put some of these out in front of the windows. And maybe this little, this little spiky bush over here too. Oh, and over here we will put, no, let's put the fountain here. And you know what? <laughs> the beast is going to leave some grubby, best to put these outside the grubby beast footprints uh, otherwise um bell might get very cranky if he puts his grubby beast footprints inside that would be a bit funny okay i think we've put as many stickers on as i'm willing to put on at the moment we now have got a portable playset. i can take anywhere i can contain it up let's see how this closes down so maybe if i put the wardrobe over here and everyone's sticking them on their own little jumper stud fold the bed up and now we can, no, that doesn't work. Might need to move wardrobe off the little stud, maybe over here. Okay, a few other characters, because there's so many characters, they're kind of catching. So we just need to find out how we can fit them all in. That looks pretty good. <laughs> They've fallen off everywhere. You're gonna have to reset up the characters each time you open it, which is fine, that's the point. But I might put this back up where it belongs because I think it might be in the way. There we go. Oh, except they can't stay on their turntable while it's being closed. <laughs> that doesn't work at all. <laughs> there we go. Isn't it beautiful? These little playbooks are just so, so, oh, they're actually, they're very elegant. <laughs> they're very elegant and I love them. I'm looking forward to building the next two sets in this series. I'm also looking forward to adding some more of these teeny mini dolls to my collection can you imagine there's an aerial one and there's mulan as well oh, i'm so excited to have them in teeny mini form with their adorable big derpy eyes <laughs> okay all right make sure you subscribe make sure you check out some of my other videos before you wander off and i will see you with a new video very very soon so well i'll see you then <laughs> bye